Hi guys and thanks for joining me today. My name is Melissa Joyce and I'm here to do a product review of one of the products from my December BoxyCharm box and that is this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the company, a bit about this product, and then I'm going to try it on and wear it for the day and do some check-ins to see how it lasts. Now, as far as the company Ofra, I've actually just recently done a product review of one of their highlighters, which I loved. I will put a link to that review down in the description bar below and also put a card to it up above. Uh, so I'm not going to talk too much about the company, I'll just get a little bit more into the product. And I will say that Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks are a product that I've heard so many people talk about on YouTube. Uh, I've not had a chance to try before, so I was super excited to get this. I will say I was a little less excited about the color of this because it is a metallic-y purple shade, and that is not a shade that I would normally feel comfortable with. Uh, but we're going to give it a try today. I tried to keep my makeup and clothing fairly neutral so that this would be the star of the look. Uh, but this is part of their Vintages collection. It was three new colors that were released in the liquid lipstick line. This one is Napa Valley. There is also Bordeaux and Tuscany. Uh, this is the sort of purpley metallic one. I believe Bordeaux is more of a pinky purple and Napa Valley is a bit of a nude shade. Uh, so it wouldn't have been my first choice, but it will do very well in showing us how it lasts through the day. Uh, that is if I can get this on without making a huge mess because I am not super great at putting on liquid lipsticks and not having them be a little bit messy. And with this color, you're going to notice messy. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit more about this formula and what it claims to do um, when you wear this. There are just over 50 shades of these long lasting liquid lipsticks and they are just under $20 US to purchase, uh, which would make them uh, probably mid 20s in Canadian money. Uh, you can order these off their website. I don't believe I've seen them in stores anywhere in Canada. Uh, so for us, this is something you would have to order online. It claims to be a one step full lip color that will not feather, which will be put to the test on me because I do have some fine lines around my lips and I have seen some colors uh, of other lipsticks start to feather on me. It claims to be creamy, soft and moisturizing, which is not something I've ever experienced with a liquid lipstick. So we're going to put that to the test and see. It claims it will last up to five hours uh, on your lips without eating and drinking in perfect condition. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go five hours without having my coffee. Um, so it might not be perfect conditions for it, but it's going to be more realistic conditions. It does say to not eat or drink within 15 minutes of putting it on, and that I will do to make sure that it has a chance to set. I have moisturized my lips and then wiped off any of the remaining um, product that was on there. Uh, I do tend to have dryish lips in the winter. I also have a bit of a cold so I've been breathing through my mouth more than I normally would so this is going to be put to the test today. Uh, and let's get on to trying to apply this which I am a little scared about because I don't have great luck with that. But this is one of these tests where if I can make it work anybody can make it work. So let's get on to it. See how dark that is? Okay, not the worst application I've ever had. My Cupid's bow is a little bit wavy, but that's okay. It is so bizarre seeing myself in this color because this is not a color I would usually choose. This has a very strong, sweet scent. It really smelled like I was putting frosting on my lips. It's that sweet, <laughs> don't touch my nose to it, sweet, sweet vanilla flavor um, smell. So that is the product on. I only used one um, dip of the applicator. There was a little spot on my upper lip that was a little patchy when I first went over it that I had to fill in, uh, but it did go opaque pretty quickly. I don't feel anything on my lips right now. Um, and I'm gonna try not to press my lips too much together until this has had a chance to dry for about 15 minutes. Uh, it was nice in that it wasn't super wet. 
One of the things I have with other liquid lipsticks is that because it comes out super wet, when I try to run it around the outside of my lips, it builds up along the edge, and therefore it's much likelier to get messy. This felt a bit drier in application, which meant it was a little bit easier to put on than some of the other liquid lipsticks that I've tried before. So that is the look. It's not my usual look, and I am not going to work today because this would not fly there. Goes nice with my nails though. It is currently just after 9.30. Uh, I am going to let this set for about 15 minutes. Uh, I am probably going to have coffee, in which case I'll show you how much it transfers, but I'm going to try to hold off on that for a little while at least uh, and see how this does. It's so mesmerizing seeing yourself wearing a color that you're not used to wearing. I feel like I should be wearing all black. I feel very goth in this. Hi guys, it's about 2.30, so about five hours after I put this on, and it is holding up beautifully well. Um, I've not had anything to eat yet, I'm actually just about to, so I wanted to film this to show what it looked like before I did. I've had a bit to drink, although I've drank through a straw to try not to disturb it, um, but its claims of holding up for five hours, it's true, it does. It's not feathering, it does not feel drying, it has not faded or crumbled in any way at all. Uh, this is the most comfortable liquid lipstick I have ever tried. Um, and considering it's such a dark color, it really has not started to fade or do anything. And it's got this really nice shine to it. It's like a metallic-y kind of purple, which is pretty cool looking. And the color is starting to grow on me. Um, it makes me look a little strange in the viewfinder here, which is why I keep looking at myself in it. Um, but it is holding up super well. This really makes me curious about trying the rest of their liquid lipsticks in some colors that would be a little bit more everyday colors for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not feeling the need to lick my lips. It doesn't feel really drying. Uh, it's not completely transfer proof. When I drink out of a straw, it gets a bit on the straw, and if I touch my lips, it does come off a little bit. Um, I'm just doing that really lightly, but you'll see there's a little bit of the color that comes off. Um, but I am super impressed so far. Um, I will show you what this looks like after I eat because I'm sure it is not food proof. They don't claim that it is. Uh, but if you were going somewhere for an event, uh, if you were just sipping drinks, this is going to hold up really well. And I think especially if you have a color that is a little closer to your natural lip color, um, even if it starts to fade a bit around the inner rim, uh, you're not going to notice as much of a difference as with something this dark. Um, but I am really happy with it so far. Uh, I think this is, as I said, the most comfortable, uh, best wearing liquid lipstick that I have tried so far. So I will come back after uh, after I eat and show you what it has done, and um, maybe we will see about reapplying it if it has faded at all. See you soon. Hey guys, I am back after lunch, uh, about six and a half hours since putting on this liquid lipstick, and you can see it did not last through lunch. So I didn't have anything too greasy, but I had some tomato soup and some um, cucumber and some apple slices and I think just from the food rubbing against my lips, from chewing, from eating the soup, um, you can see how it wore off. So it still stayed very well on my upper lip, but I mean I could hide it by doing this. But there we go. So I mean if it was a nude color, you wouldn't notice it as much. It's just such a bright color. So we are going to see how it reapplies back on top. Now I know a lot of people say you need to take liquid lipstick off completely before putting another layer back on top. Uh, I do think though this would be really messy to take off in the middle of the day, being such a dark color and then trying to reapply. I feel like it would just smudge everywhere. So I'm just gonna see how well this goes back on top. Um, and we can see together. So I really only need to fix up that inner rim. I mean, on first application, 
it looks like it's layered back on top fine. Um, I can feel where it's drier going over the rest of the liquid lipstick that's still on my lips. I'm gonna go do a few things around the house, let this dry for oh, maybe a half hour or so, see if it does anything funny in the drying process on top of the other liquid lipstick, and then I will be back to give you my final thoughts. See you soon. Hey guys, it is uh, about five o'clock now, so I've had this liquid lipstick on for about seven and a half hours, and uh, it was layered back up after I had um, some food to eat, and it is doing great. It maybe feels a little bit drier where I've layered it back up again, but not noticeably so. It is not flaking, it is not fading, it is not feathering, it is not drying up. It is the best liquid lipstick I have ever used. Um, I've not used a huge number of them, I will say that, but uh, as compared to the other ones that I have tried, this is by far the best. And you can really tell by using a dark color like this how it's holding up, where it's fading, where it's patchy, and it's not. It's beautiful. So this is a big thumbs up. Uh, they have, as I said, over 50 colors of their liquid lipstick, uh, long-lasting liquid lipstick. I assume that all the formulas are the same. This one has a beautiful metallic shine to it. Uh, I know some of the other ones are a little bit more matte. Not that this isn't matte, it is. It's just it has a, a really pretty sheen. Um, not in a glossy looking way, in a metallic looking way, which is really cool. Um, I like this much better than I thought I would. Uh, I thought I would be, you know, scared to go out in this. Still not a conservative office look in any way, but this is a big, big thumbs up. Ofra, this is amazing liquid lipstick. Um, if you want a liquid lipstick, uh, I am going to go and look at more colors of this to buy myself. I know there are coupon codes out there, um, probably bigger uh, beauty bloggers, vloggers have some, I think usually like Caffeine Lights and Nikki Tutorials, like those, those folks you'll usually see um, coupon codes for them, but it is a big huge two thumbs up, like so good, so so good. Um, I can't say anything more about it. I think it is just wonderful and I am so impressed with both of the Ofra products that I've tried so far. So I am going to go now. Um, I don't even feel like I have to take this off my lips. Like sometimes at the end of the day, you just feel like oh, my lips are so dry and it doesn't feel like that at all. And it's winter and I have a cold and I'm bleeding through my mouth and it feels like I have nothing on. It's not sticky, it's not drying. I am so incredibly impressed. So I'm gonna stop there. Uh, I'm gonna put some links in the description bar down below to other liquid lipstick reviews I've done and uh, I'll put the card up here for the other uh, Ofra uh, product review that I did, which is for the highlighter slash eyeshadow. Uh, and thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this review, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, I would love it if you would join me. I do product reviews, I do some uh, personal finance tutorials, sort of a mix of things that I do here, but I hope you might consider uh, subscribing and watching some of the rest of my videos, and I will see you again soon. Thanks so much, have a great night, bye.